If you're working on a presentation that's particularly sensitive in nature, it might be that you want to control who has access to this presentation. And there are numerous different ways that we can protect presentations in PowerPoint. So let's explore some of them. Now, if we jump back up to the file tab and go to the info page, notice in the middle here, we have a big old button that says protect presentation. If we click this drop down, we have numerous different options. So the first one here is to always open this file in read only and read only really only protects against accidental changes. So somebody leaning on their keyboard or maybe dropping something on their keyboard and making a change to the presentation. If I was to set this to always open read only, let's close this down and reopen it. So I'm going to go to close. Let's click on save. And it's this one just here. So now when I reopen it, Notice that we get this yellow bar at the top telling us that this file has been set to read only. Now, the reason why this isn't a particularly good protection option is because all we need to do here to edit it is click on the edit anyway button. Before clicking on this button, I can't actually make any changes to this presentation. So I'm tapping on the keyboard here, but nothing's happening. So it kind of protects against accidental changes, but doesn't really offer too much protection because we can just click on edit anyway. But that is one option that you have. Let's go back into info and I'm going to turn off read only and let's take a look at our second option. Now this one offers a lot more protection and that is encrypt with password. So if we set a password on this file, it means that only people who have this password are going to be able to open it. So let's click Let's add a password and click on OK. We need to re-enter to confirm that password. And now if we close this down and reopen it, notice it's going to ask me for that password. So I need to type this in before it's going to let me into that presentation. So that's a really good way to protect it. Now, if you want to remove the password, again, you just have to go back into info, click on protect presentation and choose encrypt with password again. And we just remove the password from here. Now, the next option we have here is restrict access, but, but this requires us to connect to the rights management servers. And on the copy of PowerPoint that I'm using, my machine isn't set up for this. But if yours is at your organization, you can restrict specific access for specific people in this way. The final two options are digital signature and mark as final. Now, in order to add a digital signature, you need to have signed up for some kind of digital signature service. And in my experience, most of these services do cost a little bit of money. So it's entirely up to you if you want to do that. But you could protect your presentation with a signature. Now, the final option we have here is mark as final. And what this basically does is it lets the readers know that this presentation is the final version and they probably shouldn't make any more changes to it. So if we say mark as final, let's click on OK. Notice we get this message. This document has been marked as final to indicate that editing is complete and this is the final version. When a document is marked as final, the status property is set to final and typing, editing commands and proofing marks are turned off. You can recognize that a document is marked as final when the mark as final icon dis displays in the status bar. So let's click on OK. Notice in the status bar at the bottom, we have marked as final. Notice we have this yellow bar at the top, which tells us that this is the final version and no further edits should be made. And this really, again, a bit like read only is simply there to discourage people from making any further changes. They can simply click on the edit anyway button and make their changes anyway. Also notice if we go back to file and into info and click on show all properties, the status field here has been changed to final. Now I'm going to remove this. Let's go back in, mark as final, and we should find that we're back to normal now. So those are all the options you have within PowerPoint to protect and control access to your PowerPoint presentation. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. 
To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.